Good morning and welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. Today, my wife shaved our cow. So, uh, yeah. Now we'll explain why. I'm getting tired, so she stopped working. I'm gonna get ready to go. Walk her over there then. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Mama Pepper and this morning I'm gonna be milking our Dexter cow. And I did end up shaving her yesterday, I think it was yesterday, the day before, but I didn't video it, which I should have, because it was really quite an experience. And we'll talk about why in a little bit. Which way does the cow come through? This way? Wow. When she was pregnant, she would fake she couldn't get through when you try to lead her through there. Yeah. Because you wanted to stay out. But then when she really wanted to go in, she would suck up her belly. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you see the grass? Come on. Is your milk down there?
You show me how you milk, little man? Little farmer. Show me how you milk. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Buddy, milk. I think you got a new milk helper getting ready. Do you see that little guy? Mm -hmm. He makes it sound like he's squirting it out. <laughs> you gonna help milk, buddy? You big helper? He wants to help with the leash. <laughs> Darling? Yes. How are they working so far for you? Those are your boots who are outside? Yep. They're working really, really well. Cool. I'm really enjoying them. We got about two and a half weeks left of, left of our test drive. How long are we going to do it? Look at them on. Okay. All right. So, so Mama Pepper got ambitious here the other day and she thought she'd do something to make life a little easier. What are you spraying on there right now? So right now I'm just using some soapy water to spray her bed and her feet. And the other day I was thinking I should really give her a shave down here because she had so many hairs every time I squeezed her teeth it was going in the milk and I was just getting a bunch of hairs so I'm like I really gotta shave her so I shaved her down, oh, a lot of her belly, and her bag, her legs in here, the back of her legs. I'm like, this is going to work out a lot better. But I did get some hair still yesterday when I was milking. But it is better. And as soon as and we... And I can see her teats as well a lot better. Right. Also. And as soon as we get done milking, we strain it anyway, so. And you'll notice this little guy, he's one. But he'll reach under there and he'll kind of play with the teats. He'll even make a milking sound. And with the little one, he does that too. And ever since this one here, Xenia, was a baby, she's about two years old now, but ever since she was little like this one, we've been doing that. That way she gets used to us touching her down there. It's just part of what we do. And then when it comes time to reach down there and get milk out, she's used to it. He wants to go fill it with feet. Oh, buddy, you're such a helper. That's that willing heart, guys. We encourage that willing heart. Now we need that over there, but guess what? Later then he can help bring it back over there. So we don't know what she got into last night. Was she laying, you know, down by some cow pies or something like that? So we want to make sure to have the teats nice and clean before we milk. Um, that way we're not contaminating our milk with anything she might have been exposed to that could be on her bag or on her teats. She's pulling into their tail, like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she does pull it on. So. I'm just going to get some with my butter balm. Your butter balm? Did you make that? Yeah. So I made that with some olive oil, shea butter. I think coconut oil and essential oils. Cool. Right. Got the stove. What was that? No. Got the stove. Okay. So I got um, brave the other day and started milking her with two hands. I thought I wasn't going to be able to do that because I was afraid that she was going to knock my milk bucket over and I was going to lose my milk. And I'm like, I really don't ever want to lose my milk. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I'm just going to try it and. We've been doing pretty good so far. This is like maybe my second or third day milking with two hands and setting the bucket down. And you just squeeze so. some out of each teat to start with, right? I think I, yes, I think I did. Just to make sure anything that was stuck in the end gets expelled first and doesn't wind up in our milk. And she doesn't seem as full as like the first week. This is our second week milking. The first week, I mean, like these things look like they're gonna burst, but now she doesn't seem as full and she has been holding back milk for her baby. So, 
I learned a little trick last night and I'm gonna try that today. I was kind of doing it yesterday, but I learned how to do it better. So we'll show you guys that in a little bit. And so she's got her leg nicely back for me right here. I think usually you want them to be straight together, but she's got it nice and open, her bag open really nicely for me, so that works out really well. And I'm still getting used to it. This is my first time um, having a milk cow and milking, so I'm kind of learning as we go through. And so is Pinkie Pepper. Wow, well, you seem to be pretty good shooting that in that bucket so quick. Look and I'm, me. what was that? You look pretty good at it. I'm out here milking because this is something that is exciting to me and I want to also get the experience myself. I don't just want my children to learn how to milk, but I want to learn the experience and be a part of it and be watching her for, you know, mastitis or, you know, checking her bag to make sure she's being emptied and things like that. Yeah. But this is something that's special to me as well. So I don't mind waking up to come and milk my cow and, um, Reaping the rewards of getting some fresh milk in the morning, so. How is it compared to goat milking? Mm, it takes a little bit longer because we get some more milk. I'm not sure how I'm going to do when she gives us quite a, a bit more milk. Yeah, once we're done <laughs> with the baby. Because my hands were super sore yesterday and sore my legs from squatting. And I'll, I'll work on something for that. Um, and she was wiggling quite a bit yesterday back and forth because I think she was hungry. But we're trying to not, um, we're trying to teach her how to stand well before we give her some feed. And so sometimes she does dance a little bit, but we're working with her. This is her first time, so. Did we ever shave our goat? I did shave her, yep. I ended up shaving her as well. I just didn't think I was gonna need to with the cow, but I couldn't really see her teeth that well and just, it was just very hairy. Sure. <laughs> so. Well, and even I remember, uh, you know, the sheep, we shear for their wool. Had to take that off every year, but we also make sure kind of the hind quarters are, are kept nice and clean so that we can have successful Breeding and get that next generation too. So there's multiple reasons to be giving animals haircuts and for their birth too So that oh, yeah. they don't get as they can stay cleaner on the behind area back there But we didn't do that with her with uh, Xenia this time Maybe next time. I don't know Maybe not. And little one your mom knows you're next so she's holding some back for you you tiny little thing Oh Maybe I should have some Video of chili pepper and that little one at the end. Yeah, stay tuned for that. So she's got her legs set up real, real nice right now. I think that's how they're supposed to be. They're just both together there, which is nice for milking. She gives me space for my hands and to be able to see her teats, her udder. So I really like that. And I'm thinking as time goes on, she'll get better at it and I'll get better at it too. Yeah. With her, yeah. And of course, something like this does take time out of our day, but earning some money to pay for some milk and to pay for some gas, and then taking the time out of your life to take a drive to the store, and then picking up some milk at the store and driving back home, you know, that all takes time too. Um, this gives us a connection to our milk supply. Like Mama said, it's, it's enjoyable. It's an interaction with one of our animals that's a, a blessing and a benefit for us. It gives Mama an opportunity to get out here early as the day's starting. Um, otherwise, sometimes she'll get carried away with house stuff, you know. She'll be in there making breakfast, getting the kids started. We'll do our morning devotions, get schooling done and stuff. And uh, yeah, you get carried away. Some days you don't even get to gum outside, do you, my lady? That's right. And of course, a lot of the projects I work on when I'm not on the computer doing stuff is out here working on stuff. So I get a lot more yard time than mama, but this is a 
a good opportunity. And uh, there's so many of us right now who can do this particular job, right? That's right. You know? And I will be having the girls help with milking as well. Uh, Pinky was out here helping me the first week. And I would like to go ahead and go through with them and have them each be milking. But I did let the girls know that mom wants to keep a watch on making sure our animal's doing good and she gets into a good routine and things as well. Yeah, be so diligent to know the state of your flock so and your animals. So that our milking routine can go smoothly and just make sure that we know what we're doing and how we're going to do it and things like that. So. so these squirts of milk are not as full as once I get the baby over here. <laughs> They're just not as like, the, you can tell that she hasn't let down her milk completely. All right, so overnight we pull the baby off. We have the baby near so they can be together, but the baby doesn't have access to the milk. And right now, that mama hasn't really like released any of her milk since last night as far as getting anything out. But she knows this one's waiting. And she'll hold back like a half a gallon or more just for that baby. So mama's trying to get some out, but the cow is also in the process of holding back. Yeah. So one, yesterday you okay. figured out a little trick, didn't you? Yes, and Pinky was kind of doing it already. But I learned uh, how to do it a little bit better. Perhaps, we'll see if it works out. And explain this trick ahead of time so we know what to look for as you get to there. Okay, um, so what Pinky was doing was she was bringing the calf over to let her kind of suckle a bit. And then she was trying to milk the other, whatever teats the baby wasn't suckling on, she would try to milk those. And then it was getting sloppy all over the place. Well, I learned last night that it was better to actually hold the two front teats forward and hang on to them and let the baby nurse off the two back ones and only let her have the back ones till she's done. And then when the baby's done, then we're gonna remove her and put her back. And then I'll finish milking the two front ones that are still clean and we don't have to re-wipe them again oh. because she didn't suckle on them. So that's what we're gonna do today. And yesterday, what I did yesterday was I let her come over and drink, but I rewiped all the teats again because I just kind of let her drink. So, but I just let her suckle a little bit while the milk uh, came down, and then I removed her and put her back. I didn't let her finish drinking. So I kind of milked out the two front quarters all the way, milked a few squirts of the back quarters, and then just let her have the rest of the back quarters for herself. So, and then what time comes treat time for her? About halfway through. Okay. is when I'm giving her her feed. And I'm looking so. at this, guys, you know, this works good having the cow at ground level when Pinkie Pepper's on the little stool we got from our neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, Mama's squatting down here, the cow's going back and forth. I've got some things I'm going to put together to hopefully have a nice little spot where that cow is up a bit. So Mama can maybe use the stool, she doesn't need to be squatted down like that. But you said it is a good workout for your legs? Oh yeah, my legs got really sore <laughs> these past few days, but it's fine. I can see her better and it's not a problem for me. I'll do what I have to do to get some milk, so. Yeah. Wow. I'm okay with that. They hurt, they hurt, they get a workout. <laughs> Pluses for the pain, I guess. But yeah, they did hurt pretty bad yesterday. I was like, ow, ow, my <laughs> legs are hurting. So. But she's keeping her leg back nice there too. See that, Bob? Yeah. She doesn't right. have them both back right now, but at least this one back one is good. It gives you access so and can, keeps her stable. Yeah. Put the milk bucket there. I was so scared to milk with two hands because I thought she was going to tip it over, but I'm just watching her body as she as I'm milking her, and as soon as I see her head kind of move, then I know she's going to move her back legs, so. And you doing uh, chin rubs right now, little one? Yeah, I'm taking off ticks. Oh, you're taking off ticks too? <laughs> cool. So, so it's good to be able to read your animal, know what your animal's up to, how it's doing. And give her her alfalfa. And how do your hands feel after a milking session? 
Oh, yesterday they were hurting because, like I said, you can tell she's not letting down her milk. So every squirt is kind of like a very hard, more effort, more effort kind of a squeeze, and not much milk wanted to come out. It's like, wow, I'm gonna be here for quite a while if this is how the milk's gonna come out. And there was quite a difference when she let down and um, I let her calf come on over, and the squeezes were not as, you know, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, I didn't have to put so much effort in squeezing. Right, they weren't as out. labor intensive. Yeah, there you go. So, I was like, wow, well, that's a lot faster. The milk was just kind of coming down. So I also wanted to mention that um, I'm really thankful to have a Dexter for our first milking cow because uh, her being our first um, milking cow, it really gives me um, opportunities to learn how to use the milk, how to store it, and also with having all of my children, uh, lots of little ones. Um, and just barely learning, this gives me a chance to not have a bunch of milk to have to process and just, um, you know, a little bit of milk to work with and learn how to make cheese or, you know, different things that I haven't made before. Cheese or sour cream, um, what else? Mm -hmm. Cottage cheese, just different things like that and learn how to process it, learn how to go through a motion of processing your milk. I don't have to deal with that much, which is good for me because I have a lot more to do, so. Right, Dexter's so a good option for us right now. A small size, short legged cow that uh, is not just a, a milk machine. You know, if we had a full size cow and we got, you know, three to four gallons a day right now, we'd have issues. A lot of our life would be consumed with uh, figuring out what to do with all the milk, right? Right, plus we don't have an extra fridge right now to store extra milk. <laughs> so having her right now is a blessing to not have so much extra milk. We have just kind of enough as what we need and we can use and move forward from there. So I'm really appreciating that and thankful for that because um, I don't want to waste the milk either. But it, she's a good option for a first time, first time owners of milk cows. So. so if you're looking to get a milk cow and you're a beginner, maybe that's what you want to go with. Um, there's also, I've seen, um, the mini breeds, the mini jerseys, or other smaller breeds that you can go with that don't produce, you know, as much milk as the regular dairy breeds. So that might be what you might want to look into instead of getting the full size dairy cows. I was just talking to get started. I was talking with Pathways Homestead over at Baker Creek, and uh, they said they do some consulting and stuff, and. He was always like, you know, go big, just go big on everything. But watching us, he said, and understanding a little bit more of, you know, this smaller breed, uh, he said, wow, I could see where a Dexter would be a really good, a really good cow for a lot of people. So it kind of changed some of his thoughts about it. Right. I mean, they're good foragers. They do well on not the best pastures. I mean, we're just starting out. First time homesteaders here for, <laughs> and... She's a good, a good uh, pick for us for right now until we can establish our pastures better and um, learn how to process our milk better and learn how to take care of a dairy cow better. So yeah, this one will go out and eat a lot of the roughage. Um, I'm working on building up our pastures, so it gives me some time to mm -mm. continue that. And another animal, our sheep are a lot like goats too, and just what they'll eat. And so is this one, so it works out well for us. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bring over the calf. I'm gonna hold the two front um, teats forward. So, so they stay clean? They can stay clean, I don't have to wash them again, and we'll see how this works. Come here, little one. If I can keep her back, because she does bang a lot too, so. <laughs> and her teats are kind of close together, so. All right. And if you've never watched Animals Nurse, 
goats, calves, little lambs, they all just like headbutt and bang that milk bag. And she'll do that for a minute and all of a sudden everything will just fill up. And then she'll be uh, able just to drink a whole bunch. So Pinky, what'd you think when you saw Mama had shaved up her whole cow? Um, it looks better. I haven't really like milked. Oh, since yeah, then, right? Because she just did that two days ago, but. and she's been trying to take care of some. Huh? Yes. But it does look better, and you can imagine it's gonna work better. Uh, it looks like it is. Go. I can tell. She's well, so far I can feel the ones that I'm trying to hold forward are getting a little sloppy still because their tongue is just kind of slipping okay. all over the place. Well, these back ones so. are going are full. <laughs> so. <laughs> so this is just kind of how we find our way around the mama holding back her milk. We'll let this one start going. She starts letting it down for that and then we swoop in for the steal. Yeah. We yesterday, intercept the delivery. Yesterday I was trying to milk her still while the baby was nursing. It was a sloppy mess. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. But we, yeah. Oh, I, I just let her suckle just a little bit and then I removed her. Yeah, that's what I did. Cow. Yeah, they're still getting all sloppy because their her teeth are kind of close together, so. Right. Her back ones are still back. <laughs> I'm just going to have to re-wipe them. But I'll still keep my hand here because otherwise she'll get them and start drinking. That's right. Those down. And she's getting so friendly. Yesterday I went out to the pasture to go find both of them and see how they were doing, give them some extra water because it was pretty hot yesterday. And she was away from her mom, sitting by the fence, and so we were petting her. <clears throat> and she just snuggled on me and was licking my face and my shirt, and she was being so friendly. We're going to go ahead and remove the cap now. I think she should be pretty much done now. Yeah, they're pretty empty. Okay. So she got what she got off that back stuff, yep. huh? Alright, so I'm going to have to rewipe them. They're super okay. sloppy. Okay. Oh, you guys probably can't see down there as well, but we can tell the difference. Great. <clears throat> oh yeah, crazy. Mama, working at the cow wash. That's so crazy how they could hold that milk. I don't, I don't know. It's just really interesting. Hold that milk back in. How do they do that? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, baby bear. Yeah. Careful, baby bear. Oh, yeah, she's eating. She's eating, baby bear. Hmm? Is she eating? She drank those down. Oh, wow, they look like oh, a wow. saggy look balloon. At that. Show me a comparison look at that. quick. There's <laughs> look the big at that. one, and then pull the other one forward. Oh yeah, it's look at that. Those back ones saying. compared to the front. Yeah, wow, she just drank those down real good. Thank you. What a difference there. Yep. So now you drink the top ones down, the front ones. I'm gonna wipe my hands down too because it's super sloppy. Wow. Oh, you wipe off the soapy water. That makes sense. Off the slobber too. A little more udder balm. Here we go. So, as I'm squeezing, her teeth feel like spongy almost. Like, I don't know. And her milk just flows out so much easier. Look at that. 
you just have to feel it to kind of know what I'm talking about. But it just, it's full of milk now it feels like. And before it just didn't feel like it was so full. I don't know how to explain it. And this is so much easier now. It's just like I'm squeezing sponges with water. I'm squeezing the water out of the sponges like that easy. Before it's more like this hard piece of fruit or something. I don't know, you're trying to like squeeze milk out of it and it's just not very to easy like to do. Something like that. And it's just not wanting to come out very well. Give me a leg back, girl. Back. Leg back, Lina. Put your leg back, girl. There you go. And we're only what, three weeks into milking? No, we're or two. Two, two weeks we're into milking. We're at the end of two weeks right She's now. She's gonna pee. Okay. She was holding back. Oh yeah. She's been doing really good today compared to yesterday. Yesterday we were like dancing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So. Probably just the ground soap. So. And for me being home right now and actually observing, I've observed Pinky uh, milking before and I see how that works. Yeah. Now I'm observing Mama doing it and I've got a little better idea of what I think I need to be doing. Uh, to set something up for them to be milking. So, I'm gonna work on that here soon. But that's why mama shaved her cow. Huh? I you shaved your undercarriage anyway. Yeah, yeah. The part that needed to be shaved, so. Yes. We're still learning at this two weeks in though. Enjoying the milk for sure. Um, made some butter, have with our cereal a lot, other things. And I'll tell you what, there was one time we were baking, what was it, a pie? It was your chicken pot pie? Yes. And mama needed some milk. So she's like, oh. I need milk, we didn't have any, and this was before we personally had started milking. So one of the children just ran out and got, what do we need, a cup or two or something? Yeah, we needed two cups of milk. Two cups of milk, so they ran out to the cow, got two cups of milk and came back in with it. And uh, at that point, some things clicked. You know, we just kind of realized like, wow, how awesome is this? Yeah, so. it's really good. All right, pie. guys, if you got any tips or advice or uh, questions, comments, concerns, Feel free to uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section and we'll see you next time. Mom out. Thanks for watching. Papa out. That's good, you know.